before we get started with today's video, let's go over everything you're going to need. You're going to need a mini fan. You're going to need a pair of tweezers. And everything is also going to be linked in my Amazon store in my bio. For this video specifically, we're using hair glue. So you'll need some type of glue. And you're going to also need your cluster lashes. I use B&Q and I use about 8 to 16. You're also going to need this type of mirror I prefer so you guys can look down when you're doing your lashes baby shampoo to wash your lashes and then you're going to need a lash curler and i got mine off dollar tree but there are also some on amazon so before we get started with the video i wanted to give the disclaimer yes we are using hair glue if you guys have not seen my other video where i use regular lash glue you guys can go check that video out but I personally feel like me using the hair glue, there are some pros and cons to it, but I feel like it's less harsh on my eyes and the removal process 100% for sure compared to the regular lash glue. I feel like the lash glue is a lot more harsher and I would say do one lash and do one lash only and do like a patch test type of thing before you do this. I don't want y'all to do this and then say I messed your eyes up because I'm telling you right now you need to test if your eyes are strong enough for this. If your eyes are burning or if your eyes are stinging, I would definitely just say it's not for you. But for the girls who do use the hair glue, I, I feel like I like this better than the regular lash glue. So everything is linked to my Amazon store. So I'm going to do a voiceover so that I could specifically explain to y'all what I'm doing during this process. This is super easy. So I highly recommend you start doing it and save you some money because this is about $20 instead of spending $200 on lashes. First step, I just use a paper towel. I use my glue and I just put it. Honestly, you don't need that much. Like, I just put like a drop. Literally, that's how much I use. And I let it sit there for about two to three minutes. Sometimes I use the fan to get it, like, starting to get dry. Because if you're not familiar with this glue, this is the glue you use for your tracks, for your weave. And usually you have to blow dry it every time you're about to use it. So, why I like this glue is because it's rubber. It is a little harsh, so if you do have sensitive eyes, I don't think it's going to work for you. So that's why I say you need to patch test. You're not about to come over here saying that Leah told y'all to put this on your eyes and you got problems. I can tell y'all the mistakes I made as I'm doing my lashes, but we're going to use a mirror. This has like that three times size. It depends on which one. If I'm trying to get real into it, I'll use the three times size. And if I'm just putting my lashes on, I usually use the regular side. Wash your lashes, baby shampoo, you guys seen it. That's what I was told I could use to wash my lashes because it's safe enough for babies. And if it gets in their eyes, it's safe. So I wash my eyelashes with that because you don't want a lot of dirt buildup. So my lashes is growing. Okay. Get okay. my eye up because this is the method that we're using today. You want to pick your eyelid up a lot. You have a waterline. You guys can see that like whitish flesh. That is your waterline. We do not want any lashes. Glue on the mother for the line, okay? That will create size because you're blocking off the oils created from your eyelashes or something like that. Heard it from TikTok University. And why I believe TikTok University? Because your girl had a sty about two weeks ago because I put the glue too close to the waterline. So, believe me. That is one thing that I'm telling you guys when it comes to this glue to be careful about is not having it. And plus, this is not necessarily eye glue. So, you definitely don't want that on your waterline. But you definitely want to work on, you definitely don't want to get on your waterline. When you pick your eye up, you have like a very whitish flesh looking. This video is going to be so funny. You have like whitish flesh looking. That's your waterline. And then you have above it, it's like a little, if you're dark skin, brown skin, you have like the start of your eyelid in a way. And then you have like your little hairs. You guys can see where your eyelash hairs are coming out of. You guys can see where your eyelashes are coming out of the like the little dots in your hairs. You want to put your lash cluster about like this much. You see how this much is? You want to put it this much above where your lashes start, like where they start to grow out of. So you're not putting it under your eye on the wet part. You're putting it on the hairs, but you're putting it like if you had new growth, you're putting it where your new growth ended. If you had like new growth on your hair, you know where the part is like new right here. You're putting it like right here. Not here on the new growth where it starts. A little bit above it. So right here. So I like to use this. I got some Dollar Tree. Let me know if y'all want to see like a Dollar Tree hygiene type of vibe video. But I got some Dollar Tree. It's like a compact 
eyelash curler and since my lashes is getting a little longer i like to curl my lashes up so they're not like all in the way when i'm putting the lashes on so for this one you literally just put it on your lash then you you guys see my lashes they're in it and then i press it like twice and move up and then curl them up my lashes ain't too long but this helps to get them out the way because you can have irritation while you're applying these sometimes and sometimes it'd be your own lash hair sticking down into your eye so i did this one and i'm gonna do the other one but you guys can get these off amazon the regular ones or you guys go to dollar tree if you're trying to save money or be convenient or like walmart okay and q cluster lashes Guys, don't mind my nails if y'all see them. We gonna get we gonna get to that a little later. All right, so today since I don't have that many left, I'm gonna be using 16s. I personally do about five to six clusters depending on how I put them on. I start from the ends to the inner corners. I usually do like 16, 16, 14, 14, 12, and I might add a 10 if I have space. I do not go anywhere close to the inner corners of my eyes because every time I do, it literally just irritates the heck out of my eyes and it doesn't look too bad as long as I don't have a big old gap and sometimes as a side note you can cut these in half if you just want to add a little piece here but you don't want it really close to the inner corners of your eye because you can have really bad irritation there as well which will make you want to take them off so you guys will see as I'm doing it sometimes I have to redo it if it's too close but I like to try to start not too close to the end and also not go too close to the front so I'm using these tweezers Come on. So I'm using these tweezers. I realized I had another one, but I think I like these better because you can pick up your lash. Pick up my lash from the top of it and then I'll dip it in the glue. When I dip it in the glue, the part that is going on my eye since we're going up, I put the glue on the inside. So if the lash is facing you, that part of the band and a little bit of the hairs on the lash is what you want to put your glue on. So my eye like this, this motion towards me. That's where the glue is. The glue is not on the outside, on this side. So then I would blow dry it a little bit. The easiest method is to have your mirror, flip it so it's looking up, and look down at your mirror. Look down. And like I told you, I pick your eyelid up. You guys can see your hairs and put a little bit of glue first. You're going above your eye where the hairs are starting, putting a tiny bit of glue and then pushing it on your eye. Pushing it on that lash hair. It should not be on your waterline. You should not be irritated. If you're irritated, you can let it dry and then just take it off because it is rubber. That's why I like the hair glue because if I make a mistake, it doesn't hurt as much taking it off. And then you immediately want to blow dry for at least 30 seconds. Sometimes you might have to redo it. I'd be having to redo it sometimes. It's You don't want it to irritate you, especially you don't want to keep going all the way to get it done. Because if you try to take off one lash, you're probably going to end up taking off all of them because you kind of have to overlap them. And since it's rubber, they come off a little easy when you pull at them. All right. So if you start blinking at this point and it's irritating you already, those are signs that you may need to take it out and try again. And as you guys see, some people would probably try to put another lash. I used to try to do that, but it honestly it irritates me so much more. And I feel like this looks full, this looks good. And you can also double it as well. You can go on top of this and add more, but I feel like I like the calm, cute look nowadays instead of like mega volume type. At this point would be the perfect time to start rolling your eyes around, doing your check, because I'm telling y'all, if it's irritating you, you might as well take it off now before it fully starts to dry because if it's irritating you now, it's gonna irritate you tomorrow and the next day after that, the next day after that. And that also can possibly be the sign that you're gonna get a sty because it may be pulling on your lashes or it might be a little too close to the waterline than you think. So I highly suggest doing that, just taking them off, trying again, especially if you're using the hair glue because since it's rubber, it tends to come off very easily. Don't get discouraged because practice makes perfect with this. Just keep rewatching this video. Okay, so this is how the lashes came out. As you guys seen, the last thing I do is squeeze them together. And this is why I like the hair glue because since it's rubber, it kind of moves with your fingers and the warmth of your fingers. So if it is kind of too close to your actual eye, like you can kind of squeeze it and pull it off. Don't squeeze and pull because you can pull the whole thing off, but just squeeze, apply pressure and pull lightly off just to mend them to your regular lashes, okay? 
And also, you should be able to look around without irritation. And as you guys see, when I lift up my eyelids, you guys should see, still see that pink part, like the waterline part that we were talking about. And like, you should still, you should see the lashes like a far away from your lash. You should see the lashes starting far away from where your hair start. If you pull up your lash, if you pull up your lash and it's so much, like you don't see nothing and it's like close to your eye, that's completely wrong. Take it off, try again, okay? I don't want y'all to get irritated, especially if you use this method because it is a pretty tricky method to use, especially because you're using something that's not necessarily for the eyes, but at the end of the day, down to my grandmother told me it's rubber. And that's, and that's the funny thing, like my grandmother, she would apply her lashes with this. When we were kids, she would put it on her eyes, like girl, if it hurts, just, just pop it off. Like, it's not gonna do that much harm to you. They've been doing it, they've been doing it for a while. Is it right all the way? Probably not, but it works. And then also, I usually let them dry completely for 24 hours so I won't wash them. Uh, they usually get like a little wash from my face wash. I let it run down. They don't usually come out unless they were loose already. If one comes off, I usually reapply it the next day. These are like, they, they can be hit or miss, especially if you're just beginning. But I think the more you practice, the more you try it, the better you'll get at it. So I definitely recommend trying it. Times I will wash like every other day. I'll use like the baby wash and the little pink and I'll use a little squeeze bottle to clean the actual lashes because I, I feel like I'm doing something. I think you should clean them still. But yeah so, yeah, so that's pretty much the tutorial on how to apply cluster lashes using hair glue and my tips. And everything is linked in my Amazon store under beauty if you guys are interested in trying this. Tag me on Instagram, TikTok, wherever y'all do it. Or go in the comments, let me know how it was for you if you tried this method. And also if you wanna see my other video using lash glue, you guys can go watch that video, I'll put it up on the screen. But this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If y'all want more DIY content, beauty maintenance, all types of videos like that, let me know in the comments. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We're on the road to 10K subscribers this year. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.